why we have increased flexor tone in the hemiplegic upper limb and increased extensor tone in the lower limb. Now all we need to do is look into the function of the rubrospinal tract and the vestibulospinal tract. Rubrospinal tract is responsible for increasing the flexor tone in the upper limb and inhibiting the extensor tone. Because rubrospinal tract does not extends beyond the thoracic spine, so it does not have any control over the lower limb. The vestibulospinal tract which originates from the medulla is responsible for increasing the extensor tone in the upper as well as the lower limb. Now what happens when the cortex is disinhibited? We see an overactivity of the rubrospinal and the vestibulospinal pathway and as a result the efferent motor discharges from these two pathways remains unregulated and because of which we see excessive contractions in the target muscles. So because of the increased activity in the rubrospinal pathway, we have the increased flexor tone in the hemiplegic upper limb and because of the increased activity in the vestibulospinal pathway, we have increased extensor tone in the hemiplegic lower limb.